guys, it's me, Desiree Marie, and today I want to show you how I achieved this lovely hairstyle here. And um, yeah, this is the two strands lock extension version of the two strand twists. Um, as you can see, the style looks super natural, like it's coming right out of my scalp. And we even have the blunted ends, just like the regular two strand twist locks, uh, lock twists, right? <laughs> so this is perfect if you have short hair, if you have medium length uh, hair and your locks are pretty much uh, different lengths and you don't know how to do the two strand twist and make it look cute for me My hair is medium length like shoulder length, but it's very layered and when I do the two strand twist on my hair It doesn't really look like much. I love long hair. I love versatility I love being able to do the different styles that I do here you guys see me here on YouTube doing different styles with my hair this style really enables you to do a whole lot. So if you're interested in learning how to look like you're, you have long locks that you just simply two strand twisted and um, put lock jewelry on, stay tuned because this hairstyle is super easy. It will take you pretty much maybe two hours, but you can have this hairstyle in for a few months and just leave your locks alone and let them be. And it will not put tension on your scalp. It's very easy and very, it, it allows you to keep your hands out of your hair. Because you know in the winter time, your hair is doing different things. For me, I feel like I'm constantly, I, I really don't like having my hands in my hair all the time. And I really like to give my hair a break sometimes. So in the winter, you may want to leave your hair alone or you may just want to have some, uh, something simple um, so that you could do the cute holiday styles. This is perfect, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, you see me excited? I am so excited to show you guys how I did this. So if you're interested in learning more, Hey guys, so in order to start this hairstyle, you are going to need lots of packs of Marley hair. Depending on how many locks you have, you're gonna probably want up to three packs of Marley hair. For me, I had two packs already. I bought another pack and then I ended up having to go back out and buy two more packs. So for me, I needed five packs. My head's kind of big. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. So you're gonna need Marley hair. You're going to also need some rubber bands for the ends and some oil you know to hydrate your hair as you do this style um, but yeah this this style is pretty simple and easy um, you're also going to need some kind of rubber band to keep your hair the rest of your hair out of its way while you concentrate on the braids um, so now that I have uh, told you guys what you need you're going to take two strands of your, well, I shouldn't say Marley hair because it shouldn't be called Marley hair anymore, but they call it Jamaican braiding hair. <laughs> so you're going to take two strands of your Jamaican braiding hair, put it together and loop it. And you're going to take it at the top of the loop. I really should have picked out which locks I'm going to do first. All right, so you're going to take two locks. Here I have two locks. And I'm going to take the loop and put it right in between the two locks here. Now, I'm grabbing my locks and the braiding hair, both on each side, and I'm going to twist it according to my uh, prearranged twisting uh, method. I did retwist my hair first, so um, depending on which direction I retwisted my locks, that's the direction that I would re that I would twist the braiding hair. So you're going to twist the root just a little bit, and then you're going to cross over tightly, twisting each side as you cross it over. And that is to ensure that the hair stays within, um, stays taut and tight, and it doesn't unravel and fly out. And if you can notice, um, I am actually twisting each side as I'm braiding. That's to ensure that it stays tight too. And that you have a nice 
a rope twisting look. Now here I'm coming to the end of my lock. My lock is, my, my hair is actually sticking right here. So I'm going to take extra care to make sure that that hair is rolled in the braiding hair and that it does not stick out because if you're not careful, it will stick out. So yeah, and you just continue all the way down. You're still twisting each side as you're crossing it over. It's just like as if you were to um, do the Senegalese twist on your regular natural loose hair. But except this time you're doing it to extend your lock. And you're doing this so that you have that nice two strand lock look. For me, I love that lock look. Like I love the, the way that two strand twists look on locks. Especially when they're long, I love it. That is so cute to me, I, I, I absolutely love it. But right now, my hair is not exactly long enough, so I am trying this out. So now that I got to the end of the twist, I'm going to take my rubber band and tie it. Now this is the part where you get to make the twist look like a lock. And by doing this, you will not leave the ends straight out like that, you will actually tuck it in what I'm going to do is grab another rubber band and tie it and you'll see when it's done that it actually looks like the end of a lock see it actually looks like the end of a lock so yeah here's what it looks like from the root it looks very natural like it's growing straight from your scalp and you do that all throughout your head now for me um, the first half of my hair it took maybe about an hour or half an hour and a half um, this style really does not take long at all it depends on how fast you braid I'm very much a slow braider um, only because I want to make sure that the style is tight and it looks good um, so yeah it's very simple and easy I'm just going to continue and then I'm going to come right back and show you the results. Stay tuned.
All right, guys, so I'm on the last twist. I was a little um, strapped for hair, so what I ended up doing was taking um, apart some of the braiding hair and splitting it. And um, that is how I was able to um, use the hair that I had without having to go and buy an extra pack for just a few extra braids, which <laughs> really would have been ridiculous but um yeah guys I hope that you're enjoying this hairstyle so far I like how it came out I really do it's taking me some time because it looks you know I like it I like it I think it looks cool it looks natural it does give off a very thick um, look so um, hey hopefully this hairstyle will last me a few months until I'm ready to take them out. I can always put my hats on, rock the style whichever way I want, um, do my updos with no problem, and all that cool stuff. Whew. I'm just happy to be done. Cool, simple and easy hairstyle that you can do on your own. Let me know if you've tried this already or if you're about to try it. I would love to see it. If you don't follow me right now, follow me on Instagram. My name is Desiree underscore Marie. I will leave that information down below so that maybe you could tag me, uh, DM me, you know, show me how you did your hairstyle. And I can even feature you in a following video. So guys thank you for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed stay tuned for many more styling videos because you know with this style with this hair i could do just about any style so look out for those things and yes i hope to see you in the next video subscribe like and comment down below all right guys later